Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. My name is Zarlin, and I'm excited as heck for Wildstar. Wildstar is an upcoming MMO made by Carbine Studios, and it is, it, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun that I can't wait for the next beta weekend to play it. Here's the thing. You take WoW's hotkey-based combat, limit the number of buttons you can use at one time so you're not overwhelmed, and then take Guild Wars kind of mostly skill shot like abilities and make it all skill shot and then you take them and you make them go all together and it works so great their telegraph system makes it so all your abilities you have to aim you've got your own little blue telegraph or green telegraph or whatever color it is depending on whether you're colorblind or not and you you just aim it at the enemy and it does damage and you feel a lot more skillful than just hitting tab and then hitting one two 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 four two whatever granted you are still hitting one two 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 four but you feel a lot more skillful because you're aiming everything if you're not facing the right way you're gonna miss it doesn't matter that they're still in your cone of view if you're not aiming properly you're not gonna hit it and this makes everything from tanking to healing to just DPSing more skillful based. And it makes you feel a lot more awesome for killing stuff. Now the enemies have telegraphs too. And a lot of people will say that the enemy telegraphs make stuff like dungeons and raids probably a lot more easier. Because you can see exactly where the damage is going to go. Those people probably haven't played dungeons or raids. Because um, those things hurt. Yeah, it's telling you where the damage is, but if you take a step inside that, you're gonna die. And when half, not even half, if when 90% of the room is covered in red, what are you gonna do? It's not that easy to just run to this little tiny patch. And then sometimes the boss also has things that will cover that patch in another telegraph, giving you even less space. And here's the thing, doing dungeons and stuff like that, I've, I've played a lot of the the first two dungeons you get and wiping doesn't feel frustrating and the thing is in a level 20 dungeon you're gonna wipe your first time unless you have a godlike tank and healer that can just like solo it or whatever which i highly doubt anyways you're gonna wipe if you don't know the fight not like other mmos where level 20 dungeons are just run your way to the boss, DPS it down, and run to the next boss, rinse and repeat until the dungeon's over. It's not like that in Wildstar. You still run to the boss, but that boss is gonna hurt. That boss you actually have to think in order to beat it. And a level 20 dungeon, which a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you in the background is from when I was live streaming it uh, last beta weekend. A lot of these telegraphs and stuff, yeah, they tell you where the damage is going, but uh, it's up to you to dodge it. And you makes it feel much more skillful when you down a boss or you do something awesome. This game makes you feel awesome by doing just regular things like downing mobs because it's your skill, not your tab targeting. And here's the thing. This game isn't here to reinvent the wheel. It's still hot key combat. But what they are doing with that wheel is they're throwing six spinners onto it. And those six spinners are telegraphs. And they're cranking that speed up to 11. I don't even, I don't even have an, a good analogy to, for that. But dungeons are hard. Level 20 dungeons are hard. And honestly, I highly doubt at the veteran level, which is, you know, your heroic versions of these dungeons, you're going to be wanting to pug these. I highly doubt you will because... This stuff's hard. Heroic versions of dungeons and other WoW, other WoW, and other MMOs, it's 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 a little harder. Yes, you actually have to know the fight, but you can pug them. And even if everyone knows the fight, heck, I've run dungeons where I didn't know the fight for most of the time in older MMOs. And in heroic dungeons, we just go through on one clear. Where in this, oh my goodness, this, this game, I've, I've watched some higher runs, and uh, if, you don't, if you don't know the fight, 
you're gonna die and uh even if you do know the fight one small misstep you're gonna die there there is some room for leniency it's not you have to play perfect every single time but skill gets rewarded in this game and it just makes you feel awesome i can't i keep coming back to this point that it makes you feel awesome now the the questing system i'm gonna come out and say it's not the best it's basically the same as any other questing system and you know what i'm fine with that because i'm rarely going to level by questing if i get the chance i'm going to try and run as many dungeons and adventures as i can because honestly i feel like that's the most fun of it i haven't reached max level yet and i've been playing in the beta for a while but it's oh my gosh i just can't wait till the next beta weekend so i can play it some more and the thing is, when I started playing the beta, I'm like, I don't want to wear myself out on this game. If I play it too much, I'm going to get bored or something. I can't, st I can't stop playing it. Whenever I get a chance to play the game, I go and I play the game. It's weird. I haven't had this much fun playing an MMO since when I first started WoW, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I just rolled a paladin and face rolled everything. And... I know more about game mechanics now and what I should be doing with stuff, looking for synergies between my abilities and such. Besides, ooh, these buttons look pretty and they have cool spell effects. But now, since I know what I'm doing, I'm more skillful, it's so much more fun. I, I just can't explain it. I don't feel the need to rush to max level to play endgame because the dungeons leading up to endgame are so much fun that it doesn't matter adventures are fun too which if you don't know about that they're also five man content in an instance that you probably should have a tank and a healer and three dps for but it's more of a i want to say it's more of a pick your own adventure style but that's only one type of adventure they have well i think two if i remember correctly yeah two sorry you get two adventures that are pretty much pick your own adventure You've got one that's basically a tower defense where, well, not a tower defense, well, it kind of. It's a protect your base from waves of enemies. And you might think that's, you know, pretty easy, but it's so complex in the many different ways you can play it that I'm quite looking forward when I get to the level to play that. There's also an adventure where you're basically playing a MOBA. And I really hope they turn that into a battleground of some sort because that would be quite enjoyable to play at least i think so but once again that's besides the point you're basically playing a moba in this mmo as a kind of dungeon experience i i don't know what else to say the music is wonderful i love the visual style some people get turned off by the kitty cartoonish kind of thing i love it that's why i play league i love that visual style that's why i played wow love that kind of visual style they know that they don't have to take themselves too seriously with all the gritty reality out there. And honestly, I don't need a serious game. I play games to get away from the seriousness. And the music is just so awesome and epic. And I, I, can't, I can't. I can't say, I can't even put into words how much I'm having fun with this game. And most of the time, I don't have fun with an MMO until I get to level cap. And it's so much of a grind that I don't even get there. So I don't even know if I would have fun with them. But I'm having fun at level 20 with Wildstar. I'm not even halfway to level cap. And I'm having extreme amounts of fun. I, I don't know what else I can say about this game. I really hope that just my amount of passion that's come through this video will get you to at least look at Wildstar. Watch their dev speaks. Watch the videos they've made to speak about their different versions. I'm not much of a PvP player, but war plots look pretty fun. And that's another thing. They've got so much customization in this game. Your housing is so customizable. Oh my gosh. I've spent I've spent so much time just in my house trying to make it look pretty, at least to my eyes. And oh my goodness. It's fun. I don't know what else to say. It's fun. I don't know. Maybe if maybe you should try it out for yourself. That's all I can say. Try it out for yourself. 
There's plenty of people that give away beta keys uh, during a beta weekend. And open beta will be soon, as they've said, before launch. You've only got about a month left before launch. If you pre-order, you get a three-day head start. That's where I'm going to be. And even though I'm getting the three-day head start, I'm not rushing to end game. Because I'm having fun here at level 20. And I want to extend that fun as long as I can. And hopefully that fun will go all the way to level cap and beyond. And honestly, this is where I see a lot of my videos coming from in the future. The reason I haven't made videos for like five months is because I've gotten bored. I've lost motivation to make videos. But I felt I just had to make a video about Wildstar because it's garnered so much of my attention and it's so much fun. I, I don't know what else to say. I just don't know what else to say to try and convince you about how fun I think this video game is. It's... I don't know. Anyways... I've been Zarlin Gaming. Hopefully my spouts of unedited, unscripted passion has at least gotten you to think and look at the game. And if not, have fun. Try to have fun somewhere else. Because I'm having fun at Wildstar. And if you are going to join me on Nexus, I'll see you there.